Decorating Fanatic here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, you are looking at my hutch that's in my dining room. And before I get started, we are going to redecorate my hutch with some Ray Dunn pieces. But I want to share with you guys some things that I have inside here that hold a lot of special memories for me. Over the years, um, I have been collecting all these items. Now I've always loved dragonflies. So my very first memory is my husband bought me the Savorsky Dragonfly. And then over the years for Christmas and any other special occasions, he's bought me some Savorsky pieces. I see some ducks back there. There's a rose. And then there's a little clamshell there. And then there's a Christmas tree. There's some little mice and there's some birds in the back. But anyways, over the years I've filled up this hutch and then this porcelain here, which I absolutely love, is called Franz. Now this stuff is pretty expensive. Um, like I said, my husband has bought me these pieces over the years. This little duck here came from a yard sale. I was going to give it to my dad, but it was so detailed and so cute that I decided I'd keep it for myself and put it in here. And then this big, huge hummingbird vase. Uh, that is like a $200 piece. I have a story behind that. I couldn't believe when I was out yard selling, I walked up and saw that along with the sugar and creamer. And then here's the salt. I don't have the pepper. She broke it. So I took that anyways. And then around the side here is a candle holder. I mean, these pieces down here probably, I uh, mean, each one retails for over $100. Anyways, I got the whole thing for $5. I was so excited. I don't know if she didn't know what she had. She just wanted to get rid of it. But I snagged that up and that was like one of the best finds, uh, you know, yard selling that I've ever had. So anyways, down here at the bottom, there's a piece I have that says Happy Spring. Now I am going to be bringing in all my Ray Dunn pieces into my hutch. Now down here is a bunch of little mice. I found these over at a state sale for a couple dollars and I think they're really cute. Now what I'm thinking about doing is taking the bottom shelf here and maybe uh, keeping my favorite pieces, my dragonfly pieces and some Savorskis down at the bottom. And then maybe the first three shelves, I'll go ahead and put my Ray Dunn pieces in here. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at all the stuff that I have to decorate with. Well, as you can see, I have a table full of Ray Dunn items that I am super excited to share with you guys and I cannot wait to decorate my hutch. I cannot believe in a month's time I have accumulated all these pieces and I also have more of my kitchen behind my cabinet doors. Also, I'm storing some on a TV stand that's in another bedroom. But look at these adorable little birdhouses. They are so cute and the back of them, the little bird on the back. And then let's see, what does the perch have? Oh, little bird on the back. Uh, let's see, fly, maybe have something different. A little feather. And then home has the cute little flowers. Now I'm gonna incorporate the little bunny tray back here because it's still spring and I didn't get a chance to put this up for Easter. So I wanna enjoy these little bunny plates for a little while. Maybe when summer gets here, I'll switch it out with my teapot and maybe some of my canisters that I found. But guys, I am so addicted to the hunt. I am so excited every time I walk into my store to see what they have that's new. So I always have so much fun hitting my stores in the area or sometimes I'll even drive maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes somewhere else. So I want to know how many of you guys are just obsessed with collecting Ray Dunn pieces. I would love to hear what you guys have and let me know what your husbands think about it. Are they for it or are they against it? So let's go ahead and decorate my hutch.
Well, my hutch is all decorated and I must say, I really am happy the way it turned out. I love the Kirkland flowers in my little watering can and I have my little bluebird over here on the stand. But let me know guys, if there's something that you would have done differently or if you would have styled it a different way. Um, I probably need a little bit of greenery in here. That's one thing I definitely need, but I didn't have any at the time, but for now, this is gonna work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and until next time, happy decorating.